Hey everyone, it's Colleen here with Artwork by Colleen. Today, we're going to do a cane of a um, glass winged butterfly. And for the glass wing look, I'm going to do the translucent. And there you see I've mixed just a little bit of white with the translucent because in that upper left hand corner of the wing, that's what the color looks like. So once I get the white translucent the way I feel like um, it's the right consistency and I feel like now in looking at it when I'm done you'll see but I maybe could have gone with a little less white added to it anyway that's neither here nor there so once I get the piece formed the way I want then I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it in the black because that's going to make the outside edge and basically you have to start somewhere now in the white area you'll notice um, I don't know if you can tell from the picture but in the white area there's actually uh, white lot vein lines in between those pieces so I am gonna wrap it in white to make the vein lines look the way it looks in the picture um, as you can see I'm kind of using this picture as a pattern sort of like I do my character canes because I don't know for me the butterfly is pretty straightforward and it seems to me a fairly easy pattern to follow um, I I don't know I guess I could have done it by itself and just looked at the picture but for me I find this an easier way and like as you can see I'm putting that white in between those um, translucent white pieces and then I'm just going to continue to build it using just that last section's got just a little piece of the white translucent and then it's going to be followed with the regular translucent um, to make this part of the wing. And as you can see, um, now that I've finished all the white translucent area and just going to the straight translucent, now I'm going to start splitting those areas with the little thin layer of black so that it basically, when you reduce it down, it'll make it stand out a lot more. And I just, that's what it looks like in the picture as well. So I'm kind of a follower of pictures basically. So here you see it's kind of a boring um, section. That's that little white piece I was telling y'all about. And you just have to fill in the blank. I only have three quarters of the translucent, but for some reason when I was doing this video, I decided to jump forward and get the red um, Skinner Blend put together. So you can see I have a light like pinkish red, a right, real red in the middle and then the dark pink on the outside. I went ahead and thinned it out and I'm doing an accordion fold. So because that's the way I normally do the majority of them. Um, I flattened it out into a little kind of brick first and then I decided to flatten it out even more so that I'm going to use parts of it, well all of it really, but to wrap around the butterfly um, one section of the butterfly, the little red uh, section like that, is kind of a solid piece with the one along the back. But then when you get along the top side, it's got individual little, um, I don't know, uh, like little stained glass pieces or whatever you would call it, like little smaller veins. I'm not really sure what the proper terminology is for that. I guess I should figure that out one day. Anyway, so here I am cutting it all up and making it work. I'm adding some dark in there um, because as I remember there was a little piece of uh, red and darker red before that was kind of stuck in there a little bit before you go ahead and put in the remainder of the translucent vein um, parts of the wing. So here I'm just finishing off wrapping that red in black because it's going to need to have the black around it and then we can continue on finishing up putting in the translucent so that we get a finished piece of wing. Now, although these two pieces are look like they're combined, generally speaking, when you make butterfly wings, you make a top piece and a bottom piece, reduce them separately, and then that's at least that's the way I do it. And then you have two separate pieces. And when you cut them, you cut two sets and you flip them over, and then you've got a whole butterfly. So here I'm just wrapping the outside with the red like I said one part of it is just like the solid red and that red is actually the Skinner blend so it's kind of dark on the outside and and lighter on the inside however when I got around here to making the small individual pieces I thought it would look kind of cool to 
flip the clay around to have like light and light touching, dark and light touching, just to give it a little bit more um, depth to the wing. And I just basically wanted to give it some color variation a little bit. So A, it kind of wouldn't be boring. And B, it would kind of look like more like it came from nature because I feel like if you looked at one from nature or maybe two of them next to each other, the colorations are not going to be exactly the same. There's going to be some uniqueness in each of them. And then each of those sections, of course, has the black in between it. It's the really thin layer of black. As I got to the end of this one, I realized that I don't have a lot of red. So what I did there real quick was I combined two pieces of the scrap red and put the light together and the dark on the outside and just wrapped it in the black because I felt like it needed a little bit more red in that upper left-hand corner of the wing. Anyway, now that the first section is done, we're going to start in the second section. And again, we're going to do it the exact same way we did the first section, just taking pieces of translucent and trimming them up, fitting them in where I want them. Um, also, I added a little piece of the white translucent just because that's the way it looked like on the wing. So I'm just trying to follow the pattern a little bit. So I don't know why, because honestly, if you're going to look at my finished product, you're not going to look at it based on the picture. But that's the standard I set myself up for. So the only real difference I can see in making the top half of the wing and the bottom half of the wing, as far as the construction aspect of it goes, is that on this one, I actually put in all the translucent clay first before I started wrapping it um, around with the red. So remember you guys, I always like to hear your comments and thoughts about what you think about the patterns that I choose. Here I'm just taking the red, the Skinner Blend Red, and wrapping it around. Um, and I made this little vein area right here because when you start going around, you'll see all the tiny little extra vein areas. I don't know if it's called veins. I don't know. Little stained glass portion. In any case, I did this the same way as I did the other one. I took the the red Skinner blend and I flipped it around a few different ways just to give it a little bit more variation. As I was continuing to add the red Skinner blend, it came clear to me that I was not going to have enough to finish this wing. So I took a piece of each of the three colors that I still had done plain, made a little tiny Skinner blend, and then reduced it down some and just continued um, adding that and use that as my variation to go around and finish up the little pieces of the wing so that I could have a completed wing because heaven knows I didn't want to get that far and then run out because that would have been truly frustrating. I will say that I did cut a little bit of this video shorter because the red goes around the same way in little pieces and it was boring me while I was trying to do the voiceover so I knew it had to be boring you. Anyway, I wrapped them both around with the black and there's the two finished pieces. I'm pretty happy with it all in all. Um, I can reshape it up a little bit. When I was finished, I used some of the red and black scraps and kind of pushed them together in no particular pattern at all so that I could make the little body piece of it because to me, that's kind of what the colors of the body look like. Now I'm in the process of reducing it down. Again, it gets boring watching all this. So I sped it up some, but also I cut a little bit of it out and there's the finished product. That's the bottom half of the butterfly. And now I'm just in the process of reducing down the top half of the butterfly so that you can get an idea of what the finished product is going to look like. And now the moment of truth. And here I'm going to cut it in half. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. The thing about it is the clay was pretty soft, so it was pretty easy to reshape it how I wanted it. But that gives you an idea of the finished butterfly. And that's the body piece that I'm going to reduce down to use it. And then here is, I cut a little slice of it and put it here just to give you an idea. This is what the finished product looked like after I baked it. I'm kind of holding it up to a window so you can see it's pretty translucent. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this project. I know I've had a lot of fun doing it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you can and have an awesome day.